Hey everyone, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to show you the makeup I'm going to keep upstairs. So when I decide to do videos at night, I could put something on my face and film in my room instead of downstairs. Because lately I just have not been feeling like filming downstairs. Mostly because the animals will start barking for no reason, and uh, it annoys me. So... I am going to show you the makeup that I'm keeping upstairs, and then I will do another video with the makeup I'm keeping downstairs, but if I feel like it. But we're not talking about that right now, so let's talk about this. So, the first palette I'm going to keep in upstairs is this one right here. By the boss. I barely use this, pathetically. I'm really bad at actually following through and wearing makeup, so. Um, I thought these were really pretty colors. I need to get more into the nap neutral colors because I'm not into neutral colors but I thought these shades are just like everyday shades and I could totally use them and I just play around with them I need to get out of my comfort zone and my comfort zone is usually oranges and reds and pinks very bright but also like I always feel uncomfortable wearing it out in public but I like the colors so I wear them but you know what I mean so maybe this will get me to actually wear makeup a little bit more so this is the first palette, and this is the color you use the most out of this palette. Like, look how blinging that is. Like, come on. So I just need to start using it. And I really do like uh, this wink color and this wishful color. The two mattes in this palette. Like, they're almost barely there, which is the only browns I like are ones that are barely there. So, um. Like, I doubt I'll use these colors. I mean, I might. Never say never. Never. Okay, I probably never will use that dark one, but I could use that one. To deepen, or is that the word? Deepen the outer corners, if you will. Right here. So, anyway, yeah. That smells good still, so. Yep. I didn't even bother to pick palettes for next month because I'm not even using the ones I already picked so I'm going to try to pan, like use some of these first and then pick something else I do have a Jeffree Star palette hold on I do have a Jeffree Star palette that I got a long time ago and I barely have used it it's the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette sit down whatever I don't care and it has these colors right here. So this is the palette that's going to be for the next two months. Because I probably won't pick any until like... I won't pick any palettes until July. That is what I'm going to say. I'm going to use the ones I've already picked out for the last couple months and have not touched. Before I pick anything else. But this is my May one. And then I won't pick anything until July. Okay. But I need something with pinks in it for the summer. Spring, summer. So I picked this. It gives me a good amount of colors that I'm comfortable using. You can kind of tell that those are the, the only ones I've actually used in here. And um, play around with other ones. Like, don't be scared, girl. Some of these are kind of crappy, to be honest. Like, I don't know what the... But barely there, dude. I mean, it's kind of pretty. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of, like, hardcore being bitchy about it. But I don't know. I just have to start using this, this palette. I kind of like the olive -y color. It just doesn't come out as, like, cool as I think it should. Like, I know the Violet Voss has, like this one which is like one of my favorite colors so this is the all of you and then the all of me okay the all of me is kind of crappy take this one it kind of reminds me of the jeffree star one that was said that this is the one that i just absolutely love this color i just need to use it I need to use that it they kind of work all together basically you can get a lot of colors out of this palette so I will be working on this one with these upstairs and I'm not pulling anything else for downstairs and then the third palette which is my yearly palette for 
Um, I decided to add a palette for my uh, 50 Shades of Gold slash Yellow because it had Sun Kissed on it and also gold. Also, I don't usually try to pan a palette, but I thought I could at least try to work on a palette consistently through a year and hopefully like use it a couple times a month kind of thing. And I think this palette would be perfect with either other palette. Either, either, whatever you pick. But I think this would work perfectly well with this. And this, like, if you can kind of see. I think the colors kind of, like, the pinks in this one go with that. And then the other colors could go with the darker colors. I don't know. I'm trying here, people. I am trying. Anyway, so three palettes. We'll be using these upstairs only. And I will ignore all the other palettes over there that I am ignoring for right now. I'm going like this with my hand just, you know, because you can't see it. See you guys later. Not right now. So anyway, these are the three palettes. I'm going to put... They're going to go in this drawer over here. It's full of crap right now, but I'm going to clean it out and do that. And then... Um, the other items are going to go in here, so I'm going to quickly show you those because now it's like s almost seven minutes now. Um, so this is a primer that I've been trying to pan. Well, I say trying. It was a Project 50 Shades of Green, and I didn't use it at all. Only the swatching on my hand, and I never really used it. Now, I have like three backups of this. So this girl needs to get on it because I don't want those going bad because... You know, they have a shelf life here. Um, but I, it's still consistently, it's consistently good. So whatever. So this will be the primer I'm using upstairs. And I have a different one for downstairs. I have the professional one for downstairs. Not professional. This is professional. Um, the no prob, poor blum, whatever the hell it's called. So this one's going to be for here. Downstairs, a different one, but, um. And then I have this one right here as well. I just threw this in. I probably won't use this or I'll throw it away. But we'll see. I will give it a month. If I don't use it, it's going. But this is the YSL primer. There's like sparkles in there, but I don't think you really see anything. The, I like the doe foot thing. It's kind of like a spatula. A spatula. And I like the silicone -y. Well, first of all, my hands are all nasty, so that doesn't help, but, yeah. There's nothing to see. Anyway, yeah, right there. Um, I decided to put one lip gloss upstairs. This is the only lip gloss I use because, well, I think I might have, like, one or two. I'm not going to lie. In my collection, I literally probably only have the buxom ones because they are lip glosses and then like one or two others. I think I have a Dominic cosmetic and I have a few like item beauty ones or something. I don't like them. I mean, I like them, but I don't like lip glosses. Okay. They're sticky and they're nasty. and I don't like them. This is sticky sometimes. And when you drink water, it's unbearable. Like, I literally hate it. Like, once I drink water, it does something to it, and it bugs me. But I love the menthol. I'm not going to lie. I do it for the menthol. I love it. <sighs> yeah. So I will continue to deal with the stickiness because I like these. But um, my favorite one is a Dolly or Doll. I think it's Dolly. But um, I really do like this color. I like any of the, like champagne colors because they're not overly dark they kind of yeah. I think she's making so much noise it's like well I can't see what time it is but I know it's after 11 mom come on I mean we already have the outdoor traffic sound and now I have her this needed something. I swear. Rude. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, I love these. It's just that it's overly sticky. I got these, I think, at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Because I never see these at Ross. 
but um, don't spend crazy amount of money. Spend less than like, I think these are $7.99, which I personally think, as long as it's not 10, I'm cool with it. Are you okay? <laughs> Who is that then? Well, it's not me, it's not honey. It's not baby. It's somebody and they ain't mad. It could have been. I don't know. I'm not really bad at where the sound comes from. Anyway, you don't care about that. It's so rude. You can't even have your windows open. So, buxom is a good thing. Also, I'm trying to pan this. And this is the sugar coat. Um, I think this is a turn and burn from last year or whatever. I haven't really been doing that, to be honest. But I want to use these use this one up at least. I love the way it feels on my lips. I don't like the color. But I love the way it feels. Like this moussey consistency is just so comfortable to wear. It's kind of like this. Like I'm not going to go out with it because it will get everywhere. But I can use it for videos. So, yep. This I actually added to my 50 shades of gold. And this is an old, old ass and this is the melted um, Too Faced Melted pretty sure it's Queen Bee because I think it's the only color I've ever tried and I love it yeah it's Queen Bee because I am that bee um, and it's old it's way older than 12 months like it's probably like 5 years I'm not gonna lie and if it works it works if not I don't know because I have not tried it in a while if it doesn't work I will get rid of it and uh, get something else that's gold but um, yeah so it is a very pretty color this is definitely like my everyday color like I could wear this color every day and be fine with it so get some use out of that up here hopefully um, I have this mascara which I'm just trying to use I'll probably use it like uh, that's a if you to look at swatches on your hands um let me hold it this way so um i only have a few more probably like a month to go on this one so i'm just gonna use it for a month and then see how that goes uh, kind of just open them forget about them and then move on to new ones i do have a couple of new ones but i'm trying to use a couple of the older ones so you'll see i have one new one but the rest are kind of older and then I have the new ones downstairs because I'll use those downstairs. But anyway, I have the Better Than Sex um, mascara. I think I've used this like one time. I actually do think this kind of dried out, if I'm honest. Um, which I'm not. I mean, it's my fault. So I will try to use it at least one more time or two more times. And I do have a full size of this. I'm. Actually, I might not. I think it's the milk, but it's uh, also um, waterproof mascara, so whatever. And it's the same color, so whatever. But um, I do like this mascara. I'm, I used to really like it a lot more than I do now because I've tried so many other ones, but I still like it. It's one of my favorite ones. That and Perversion, but the last couple samples I've had of those, like they're just overly dry and they just don't last too long, so. And then uh, the new one is this one right here from BR, which I don't, I think it was called, see, I don't know what the brand is. I thought it was called Black Radiance, or Radiance, but I have no proof of that, so I'm just making up crap. But um, this is the Lash Lengthening Mascara. To be honest, I'm not all that impressed with this. It kind of reminds me of like one of those cheapy ones that I've seen. So we'll see. If I don't like it, it's going because I have too many mascaras and I have a lot more gold ones that I just got. So I can always switch one out if I have to. So and those are three mascaras that are going to stay upstairs. Then I do have this rose gold color one. And it is, 
tattoo liner one and maybe I'll start using it. And then I have this serum as well that I'm going to start using down up here, up, upstairs. I don't know whether you're supposed to use it with mascara or just on a regular basis. I might just use this at night as like a kind of just something I do and then go to bed. But if someone tells me otherwise, then I will use it with mascara. But uh, since it's not supposed to be for that, it's kind of like lash like lines. So I don't know. I think it's for night. So I will pretend that that's what that's for. And then I have a concealer and that's it when it comes to makeup for upstairs. I grabbed two brushes, but I have other brushes up here. And then these will just sit in here. I mean, it's not that much makeup if you think about it. And um, I'll just have this in a drawer and I'll be able to work on these items. So yeah. That took a lot longer than it needed to, but whatever. You know I like to talk, and I haven't talked to anyone in a while, so, yeah. But, um, yep, these are going to be my upstairs palettes and makeup, and I'm just going to be putting it in this drawer here, but I need to clean it out, so. These are some empties. A sneak peek of empties I started, but that's where that's going to go. I might have one right now. Yeah, I could just barely fit it in here. And then the palette. I'll figure that out later. So anyway, that is all I have to say about that. And um, I'm sure you'll see me in another video in a couple minutes because that's how I do it. And I have a couple videos to do, so gotta get them done also I'm wearing a different shirt if you didn't notice it's kind of tight but then I also think this might be a nice like workout one because it's kind of loose on the top part I like to go like this a lot no I'm just kidding but um you know I just have to be able to do weight training and stuff so pull down muscle which one's row boating so on and so forth. I think it's cute. Whatever. Okay. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. If you don't, well, why not? Right? At least like this, you know. Help us sister out. Bye.